uh, RICO or the city of Richmond where we take everything and there turn off the policy where they cut back everybody and we're stuck with 10 trucks in the landfill. So this way we take care of it ourselves and uh, it, it looks like it's working pretty well. Uh, uh, the, uh, I wanted to bring out something that is good news, uh, also good news, uh, I think we could probably use a little. The uh, power plant, uh, the uh, host fee basically for the power plant that we pay 10% to the county from it. Uh, there was an cost per MMBTU is how we get paid. And for the year of 2013, from January to September to we caught it, uh, we were being paid 0.7183 cents. Uh, the correct price should have been 1.58 cents. Wow. So we put it in this check that I have, um, an extra $91,000 went to the county. So yay, that was a good one. And uh, that was caught by waste management. We noticed the, the issue, we found it. and. Uh, County was uh, paid accordingly, so that that's good. And that's the revenue from the methane um, that he sells. Yes, he sir. turns to electricity and sells on so the grid. to the grid. Yes, yeah. sir. Um, uh, the new cell is completed. Uh, we shouldn't be uh, should be starting to bring trash into it in about 12 weeks or so. Uh, <clears throat> keeping our promise uh, to be environmentally vigilant, uh, we got to an area uh, in the landfill that is smelly. It is very ripe, and uh, we started about six days ago when it started, and we didn't waste any time with, with uh, wells or anything else. We have the capping on it now. They will finish up the capping within 10 days uh, if it would just warm up a tiny bit, but uh, we, it's a 25 feet, this is a very strange, it's 25 feet wide by 1,800 feet long. We put it in, and uh, it's already uh, trenched and laid out for it. The first part of the line went on this morning, uh, everything, <clears throat> pardon me, will be finished up, like I said, within 10 days. And they actually will weld, they weld it to an existing liner. So, and they put the gas lines underneath, so it captures everything, so that issue goes away. And that's exactly the way it's supposed to happen. Uh, so that is working right now. Um, pick for pay uh, has become, uh, I don't know, kind of a hot item. Uh, we have gotten about three dozen calls. Uh, I've told everybody that we will start again in March. I can just imagine somebody picking today. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna wait, we're gonna start in March, and I said, uh, I'm gonna open it up, I think the first week of March, I'm gonna try and do maybe more than one, you know, uh, I, I was doing one a month or one every couple of weeks, I'll see if I can do a couple of weeks or something, or maybe both Saturday and Sunday on the weekend, see if we can, we can uh, take care of everybody. We'll, we'll do the best we can. Uh, 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 finally, uh, the house on the corner that I uh, want to do the uh, demolition of and uh, plant, farm it, and uh, donate the food to the, uh, the uh, pantry. Uh, I have an idea that I think is even better, because uh, I just keep coming up with them. Uh, the, uh, the house is gonna stay. We have a veterans group that came to me. They're actually doing a fundraiser, and I wrote down the name of the veterans group, and I feel terrible that I forgot it, but I will send it out to everybody. Uh, they're doing actually a fundraiser for the, I mean, for the King George County Police Department. The, uh, the sheriffs, they're doing some sort of thing in about three months. They would like a meeting home. They are willing to fix the house. We are willing to work with them by paying the tax and keeping the house there and letting them stay there, I mean, use it for their meetings for free. And that way they can do their fundraisers and everything from us. It's not a motorcycle gang or anything like that. It's a bunch of basically war heroes as far as I'm concerned. So I figure that something like that would be a nice thing to do. Uh, he's very anxious, we have it with uh, their lawyers and our lawyers are talking about it. Hopefully they won't ruin it and uh, we'll be able to um, get this thing uh, going uh, very soon. Uh, okay. I'd like to get it going in the next uh, month or so. I'm sorry to any lawyers in the room. Uh, and, uh, oh, and finally, uh, as far as a trip to a landfill that is 300 feet, um, I asked last time and the meeting before, I, I know there's five people that uh, need to coordinate schedules. I would ask that you all consider trying to put a schedule together. I will pick you up. Mr. Brooks, I'll come right to your house and get you. So those roads there won't bother you. Uh, we'll come get everybody and I will take everybody uh, to the landfill at Atlantic Landfill. We can take a look at it. We can walk through it. Uh, we can talk to the engineers there. We can talk to the county administrator there. Uh, I, I think he used to work here. And uh, we can talk to the, my counterpart there too. And he can tell you the, the pluses and minuses 
and that way it gives everybody a fair idea of what's going on and what it looks like. Uh, and this Where's is not, that What's that? Where's it at? It's the Atlantic Landfill Inn. Sussex. 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 Yeah. I always have to go to Travis for that. Um, so if we could in the next month or so, uh, if you'd like to, uh, just let me know when. I guess Mr. Kuzenberry can let me know if you talk to him, and then I can, uh, I'll arrange all transportation. I'll, I'll, get I'll work with Travis. We'll get some dates together, put them out, and, and, and we'll, we'll resolve that. That, that would be great. Yeah, that's just another step on, on the way of some of the things you asked me to do. I want to make sure we yep. do this one, too. And um, that's it. I have nothing else. Uh, any questions, please? No, you, you hit mine. Uh, I, I did pick up the odor about a yep. week ago, and I says, this this and it's not the same smell. This different. is different. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah, but so. it's, uh, it's, it will be gone. It'll be gone in Great. 10 days, like I said. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll say one comment, if I could, Mr. Chairman. I, I mentioned this to you before, Tom, and I, I think it's worth continuing to let you know uh, at the convenience center site, the, the scheme of support that you've put in place, I think, is working great. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've noticed it uh, noticed from, from, or I've had comments from other citizens as well. Uh, you've got your, your folks there are, are really making every effort to help folks unload things and, sure. and, and keep things running smoothly. So thank you. We, we let you know when we have areas of concern. I think we owe it to you. Let you know when we see things working well as well. Okay. Also, I appreciate that. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay. Thank you all. Uh, good evening. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Fire and Rescue, the uh, Hazardous Material Emergency Preparedness Grant. David. Good evening. Uh, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, this uh, action item is to accept the uh, grant from the Virginia Department of Emergency Management. It's a hazardous materials emergency planning grant. And uh, this is uh, one of the many uh, competitive grants that we have gone out and competed amongst all the localities across the, the entire Commonwealth. It's to accept uh, a grant of $10,000. Uh, we're asking for approval of the grant and to appropriate funds and amend our budget. Uh, this grant would be used to, uh, these funds would be used to, um, uh, to essentially uh, go out and procure uh, promotional plans, uh, handouts, uh, different types of public ed education materials about disaster recovery, emergency preparedness, etc. cetera. Um, so. Uh, this is an in-kind match. Uh, this is one of the better grants that we receive where we actually use staff time. There is no money monetary match. Uh, it, is a, it is a staff, uh, staff time we apply to it. And this was applied for on behalf of our, uh, our King George Local Emergency Planning Committee. So they are aware of this process. And uh, if there's any questions, I'll certainly try to entertain them. And I believe in your packet you have the award letter from the state as well. We do. It's a pleasure. Mr. Chairman, I would move that we accept the funds uh, and appropriate the associated revenue uh, and expenditures uh, as requested and presented by Chief Moody. Second. Motion's been made and probably second. Any, any discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. aye. Opposed? The chair votes aye. Motion carries. Support. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Department of Finance. Good evening again. Um, this item is an item that the sheriff brought before you at the last meeting during his report. Yep. Um, it's an amendment to the 1314 law enforcement project fund budget to accept funds and appropriate additional revenue and expenditures in the amount of $149,700 received from the Office of the Attorney General from federal forfeiture monies. These funds are going to be spent on specified approved law enforcement projects within 24 months of the receipt of the transfer. Are there any questions? No, I think the sheriff went over that and uh, there's specific requirements and they're above and beyond what we had planned. <laughs> Much pleasure. Mr. Ron moved to, for amendment to the FY1314 law enforcement project fund um, and to accept the funds in amount of $149,700 as presented uh, from the Office of Attorney General and then to appropriately um, apply that revenue and conduct associated expenditures. Second. Motion has been made and properly seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. aye. Opposed? Chair votes aye. Motion carries. Um, the next item is to authorize issuance of warrants against the 1314 Capital Improvement Fund in the total amount of $376,436.63. So moved. Second. 
Motion's been made and properly seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. aye. Opposed? Chair votes aye, motion carries. The next item is a financial status update. And the spreadsheet you have in front of you is a summary of actual revenues and expenditures through December. In the general fund, revenues total $15,759,258. Expenditures total $17,022,120. Um, and for the schools, revenues total $16,562,147. Sorry, I know these numbers are. And expenditures total $13,778,302. Um, we are on track in, in comparison to prior years. And I am just like the service authority and process of working on projections through year end and i'll be reporting that to you at the second meeting in february any questions for robin thank you thank you county administrator thank you mr chairman um i'm going to hand over to you a a very preliminary draft of the uh, charter for the Technology Advisory Committee. Uh, if you would take this and, and review it and bring back your comments at the next meeting. Uh, this, is, this again is very preliminary. Um, we need to, to define the purpose and the uh, membership of the committee. Uh, I'll just put some broad language in there just to get, get you started. So if you would uh, if you would review that and bring it back, uh, we can we can finalize it at our February the fourth meeting. Yeah, I'd like to um, see if you can uh, contact this technology group um, and pass them a copy and see if they have any comments that we could get to, to see at our next meeting as well. Okay, uh, Ms. Rabo, can you help me with get that to them? Okay, I can email you this if if that would help. And then we'll, we'll get everybody's comments back. I think getting their inputs as well right now. Um, would be beneficial to everybody. Okay, the uh, next item, I think the county attorney covered the next item. That was recommendations for alternate members to the Board of Equalization. And, and again, at your next meeting, if you would come back with some uh, names, we'd appreciate it. Yeah, I'm, I, I had put in alternate. You and, had. Um, it, it was uh, Gina Panchero, who sure. serves on our Zoning Appeals Board and is an architect. So um, I. I I'd continue. I know she was interested in doing it, so that's at least one that we could consider. Is that the only additional one we had? That's the only person that, that uh, has been not submitted so far. Okay. Go me. Um, we're ready to move on to my report. We uh, are. I only have a couple of items. Um, the first one is uh, work session dates for our budget. Um, last year, um, we had four budget work sessions. We started to February the 6th with our first one, and we concluded our work sessions on March the 25th. Um, I'm not saying we need four work sessions, but if, if you can give me dates um, mid to late February uh, for our first one, that would be helpful. How does the uh, 11th, this, it would be the second Tuesday? That would work for staff. That works for me. I can feel the Tuesday right there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, it w we'll not be in this room. We'll find a location for it. Right. Either at the sheriff's office or the uh, fire station. Would 5 o'clock be appropriate? I just thought my wife's having surgery on the 11th, so I okay. may not be able to be there. Okay. I want to tell you here but I know No, no, it's good. February 11th, she's having a surgery, so I need to be there with her that evening. Absolutely. Um, 10th, the Monday. That'll work. That'll work. Don't open. That work? Let's do it 10th, 5 o'clock, and we'll have the room announced. Yeah. Okay. We'll find a location. So 5 o'clock on the... Um, on the 11th yeah okay and i think one of the, one of the topics we should have yeah, i'm sorry the 10th that's tenth, correct excuse me but one of the topics we should have is is looking at at least projecting out the next two um work sessions yes um at that time so when we come we'll be prepared to look at future dates as well at your first work session last year you had a joint meeting with the uh, school board 
Right. Would you like to include them uh, if they're available? If they're available, I'd like to get their at least their initial input. Okay. Um, Marcy just said that's their school board meeting. That's their school board meeting. meeting. Okay. Yeah. okay. So maybe they can come to the second one. Yep. We'll yes, we'll get them a second. And again, you'll have enough to, I'll have to entertain us, I'm sure. <laughs> Enough projections out of what's going on. I, I think you know some of what we'll have to do at that first meeting is is, is at least come to a consensus on some general um, guidance for the county administrator as he fleshes out um, what do we want to do, where do we want to go, what are our priorities, uh, those kinds of things. So we'll be thinking about that. So when we sit down, we can all uh, have that dialogue and figure out where we want to go. Yes, and the, and the sheriff wants to um, discuss some things with you. As does the fire chief. Um, the electoral board is asked to have a few minutes with you also. And I, and I think that's appropriate, and we'll, we'll schedule those in, and that's why I, I think there will be a, a couple of work sessions to get everybody's inputs. Maybe we could ask the county minister to think of those questions prior, and Travis, yeah. you could get us a, Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll get them to you. We've, we've been through this a number of times. But Absolutely. If you could have it, you know, so we could all be thinking about those, uh, those policy decisions that we need to make there beforehand. I'll get to them to you at the uh, February 4th meeting. Yeah, so we, sure. you know, just... You, you, you've gone through it enough. Uh, I'm sure Robin and, and others uh, probably have some things that would be helpful if we could at least give you some general guidance. Uh, and, if you, and if you can articulate those, we'd be happy to, to, to come to consensus on those. Absolutely. Um, the next item. Uh, set one day tonight. Yeah, one day. We'll do that on the 10th. Okay. Okay. I included in your packet uh, two public notices that have been published uh, regarding the Board of Equalization and scheduling the appeal hearings. And also I included an email that I received from Ms. Marcy Parker. As you know, Quentin Elliott has, has moved on, uh, has been promoted, so uh, she's been appointed as the Acting District Administrator for the VDOT's Fredericksburg District. And I believe that's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Did you not need us to... Um Give you an answer to your email this evening? That's correct. I sent you an email uh, regarding um, the um, House Bill 37, uh, which Margaret Ransom sent to us. I um, wanted to know if King George County had any, in, this had to do with hunting on Sundays. Sunday hunting. And um, she, she said this coming to a vote soon and wanted to know if the county had any, any position on that. And one of my constituents had emailed me about it and that. Uh, I emailed him and told him, I said, I'm really not into hunting on Sunday. But when I read the uh, record and read what the bill was including, it said that it would keep it away from the church. It would be so many miles, so many feet away from the church. And that's only one problem I had about hunting on Sunday with the church being involved. But it said it wouldn't be hunting deer or big game. It would just be like fowl, like uh, ducks and stuff. No dogs could be allowed. Yeah, no dogs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have, mixed, I have mixed feelings, frankly. Um, you know, I can understand that. I, I wouldn't want to take a position unless uh, we were going to get and, and, and let people know we were considering that. That's a topic that um, has two sides to it as well, and, and uh, I'm not sure we need to take a position well, on that one. Yeah, and there's, there's, there are three sides, I guess, maybe maybe 100 sides, but there's certainly two sides from the citizen standpoint. Right. I mean, there's a law enforcement perspective yep. and how the game wardens feel about it and what that does for their resources and things, too. So. I mean, it's balancing peace and quiet for one day a week. Um, it's the uh, right of people to, to, to hunt. Um, game warden. There's I think that's yeah. what the General Assembly is elected to hash out. <laughs> I mean, we've got an ordinance right now, and it works just fine. Um, I concur. I felt the same way that it really wasn't necessarily something that we needed to uh, take a stand on. Not something I think I want to weigh in on exactly. Individuals can contact their state legislators right. and let them know how they feel. Mm -hmm. Great. And I haven't heard, you know, there, there, there are folks out there that normally we would hear from, and I have not. And so. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> when I heard from Mr. Parrott. Yeah, I heard from Ken, too. Parrott. Mm -hmm. Gentleman. He has some good points. Yeah. Okay, so uh, anything else? Um, we do have um, on March 4th the quarterly economic development breakfast meeting at uh, UMW Dahlgren campus. So um, that's on there, and Linwood will be hosting that. Um, I'll make remarks at that me meeting. With that, I think we have a closed session. Mm -hmm.
Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I move the King George County Board of Supervisors go into closed session. Pursuant to State Code Section 2.2-3711A1 to discuss personnel matters relating to the county attorney. State Code Section 2.2-3711A5 for the purpose of discussing a prospective business or industry where no previous announcement has been made of the business's or industry's interest in locating its facilities in the community. And State Code Section 2.2-3711A7 for the purpose of consulting with legal counsel for the board regarding actual or probable litigation and specific legal matters requiring the provision of legal advice by such counsel concerning two matters, the courthouse renovation claim appeal by Brooks Construction and the King George County versus Project Faith Incorporated case. Invite the county administrator, county attorney, and economic development director. Thank you. Motion's been made and probably seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Chair votes aye. We're in closed session. Move the King George County Board of Supervisors return to public session and certify that only public business matters lawfully exempt from open aye. meeting requirements by Virginia law and only such public business matters as were identified in the motion convening the closed session were heard, discussed, or considered. Thank you. Motion has been made and properly seconded. Do you certify, Mr. Sisson? Aye. Mr. Howard? Aye. Ms. Bravo? Aye. Mr. Brooks? Chair votes aye, certify, and uh, we're back in open session. Is there any other business to come before the board? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to make a motion that uh, we authorize a 2% pay increase for the county attorney, Eric Gregory, effective uh, with the next pay period. Second. Motion has been made and probably seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. aye. Opposed? Chair votes aye, motion carries. Thank you very much. Greatly Welcome. appreciated. Deserved. Uh, any other business to come before the county board tonight? Mr. Chairman, move to adjourn. Motion has been made and properly seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We